morning everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Porsche Club Cape. And today we're out here in Century City Hotel. Thanks again to Gary and his team for looking after us. We are got the guys cleaning and polishing and doing the finer last minute touches. But look, most of these cars are always immaculate thanks to the x protection that's been put onto these cars. We've also seen them driving in all types of conditions. I mean, I know if you've been watching, you'll see on the episodes, uh, the guys and the members aren't scared to drive these cars in these conditions. So we're going to be uh, taking a closer look a little bit later. Thanks to x for sponsoring this concourse event. We've also got Motul here, so the members are able to go and chat to them and see why they should be putting high performance oils in their cars. And um, yeah, Leon and myself, we're going to have a pick of the day, our personal favorite, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, later. So uh, stay tuned in and uh, you don't miss out on any of the action. So I'm standing here with Maya, he's uh, from Expal and they're the sponsor of the concourse today here at the Porsche Club Cape. And Maya, tell us, I mean, you bought one of your own vehicles down here. Yeah. And I was just chatting off air that I, I can't stop looking at it. It's just like shining, it looks immaculate. Can you talk about the products that you've used? And I mean, a lot of the Porsche guys here today, mm. we've seen them polishing from early this morning yeah. and the cars look spectacular. And I said to, to Leon uh, off air as well that a lot of these cars, the reason why they always look immaculate is in the I mean, Cape weather changes all the time. They drive in these tricky conditions, but yet yeah. the cars look pristine and that's because of x and the products that they use. Yeah. I mean, what kind of products have you used on this vehicle itself? So look, obviously, I mean, you know, cars are all showcases. So, you know, you yeah. kind of try and uh, get as much of your own product on the court to demonstrate what it is, what it does, what it looks like and all of that. So on this car, we did the x Ultimate 10 on the whole nose. Uh, which is a 250 micron high impact paint protection film. Okay. Um, so it can take more uh, eration and so forth. So the traditional Expo Ultimate is, is 8 mil or 200 microns. So the rest of the car has been done with that because obviously it doesn't have uh, need that amount of you know impact resistance. Yeah. Uh, on the bonnet and on the mirrors, we've got the Ultimate Black, which is basically just for accents. You can't really do complete color changes with it uh, because it's so thick, you know, so you can't get it around uh, all you. the nicks and crannies. Um, so we obviously did the you know bumper inlet there as well. And then on the on the windows we've got the Prime CS safety film on the side windows, 35%. Okay. Uh, lifetime warranty, so it's got about 40% you know, ejection. That's funny because it almost looks like a tint on your sunglasses. It's got yes. this beautiful glaze yeah, over yeah. The, the, the front windscreen. So, well, the front windscreen's actually got the ceramic 70% clear. So the nice okay. thing about that is it's got 90% uh, heat rejection. Yes. And at night driving, it's also anti glare. So all the glare from f incoming traffic, you don't have that haze of the lights blinding okay. and all of that. Yeah. It's almost like a tear off on a Formula One uh, driver's exactly. helmet. It's know? actually on the, on the inside, on the exterior, we've okay. also got a, got a product. Um, and then on the inside, we've got the um, you know ceramic coated interior. So basically, okay. your your interior is protected. If you mess anything, water, whatever, it just basically beads like you saw on the bumper yes. here. So and then you just wipe it off, so it doesn't pull in or you know cause a splatter or anything like that. Um, and then we've also got the screen, um, which is done with the Xpol Oryx. Uh, which is a medical grade film actually, so it's anti-fingerprint, anti-glare, oh, nice. um, and it also protects the screen because if you scratch or damage the yes. screen on your, on, your, yeah. on your car, you've got to replace the whole system, yeah. you can't just replace the screen. Um, and then uh, to top it off, uh, also we've got the ceramic on the film itself, 
okay. which is designed to go onto pain protection form. Uh, you've got to be very careful what ceramics you put on pain protection of forms. Course. Some of them discolor the film, some of them even eat into the film. So Expel's got a designated ceramic coating for different types of surfaces. So there's about nine different coatings. Okay. So the wheels and calipers, which is absolutely phenomenal against brake yeah. dust. Love it to bits, I've got an all my cars. Uh, my one car's got 50,000 Ks on, those calipers look like they were sprayed yesterday. No. Uh, so brake dust doesn't even, does, doesn't touch on the, you know, or, or cling to the calipers or the, or the uh, rims. Uh, and then on the body and the interior and then your plastic and trim and even on the glass. So, you know, when you drive, Incredible. The, you, you get the real effect of a ceramic coating when you drive. Yes. Uh, we were actually driving yesterday from Somerset West and I told Lonnie, you know, just look on the nose of the car. The water just runs off yeah. and we didn't wash the car after the rain yesterday. That's incredible. That is the amazing thing about it, so yeah. Well basically if you haven't heard and you don't have it, you definitely need Expel. They've got something for every part of your car yeah. and uh, I think it's incredible. I think when, when driving in, especially the Cape conditions where you have weather, weather changing all the time, yeah. this is something that you need for your vehicle. So thanks again, uh, okay, appreciate it Mayor for Lovely. all your support and the members also appreciate what Fantastic. you do. And uh, thanks for protecting and keeping these Porsches clean and, and sparkling on the road. Yeah, great. Thanks, guys. So Leon, we're standing here at the Motor Oil stand, long-term, long-term sponsor, yeah, Motor. Partner I mean, with the Porsche Club. They've Cape. been involved for many, many years, and I know, I think, just as a in South Africa in general, they're involved with a lot of the other no, Porsche official, clubs. Official, official oil for Porsche, South Africa. Yeah, 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 that's right. So yeah, great to have them here at the concourse, and also for the members to walk through the stand here and understand why you need certain types of oils, coolants. I didn't even know. I mean, this looks amazing. I don't know what this does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, they've got some amazing products. Engine cleaner. I mean, they've got it all here. Everything well sorted. Yeah. And so, I mean, it, it's important with these cars, high performance cars. You need good oils. You need good performance. Yeah. And yeah, it goes And even with some same. of these classic cars, like we've seen here with these Restro mods, these 356s, yeah. you know, if you're genuinely using the right products, you're just going to get a lot more mileage out of your components in your oh, car. It's your easier engines. on the engines, wear and yeah. tear, better on performance. Interesting conversation I had with the guys at the last drive training day. We're talking about oils and how certain oils, dyno tested, can give a car more performance. Yeah. So it's all about friction inside the engine while still giving uh, internal combustion performance and um, making sure it's well protected. Yeah. And it's insane that you can get that just from oil. Yeah. I mean, they did before and after dyno runs of the oils, they actually see horsepower increases, yeah. which is for me insane. And that's why we partner with Motol and uh, because we're all about high performance, even at a concourse event, we need high performance oil. So <laughs> it's great to have them on board. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be along with us for many other of our uh, things that we've got coming up. There's still quite a bit still left to the end of the year. Um, and as you can hear behind us, there's still Powered lots of cars in the background still too. arriving. So <laughs> are we running out of space here, which is great. Yeah. So, um, so coming up, we're gonna start uh, deciding which is one of our favorite cars. Oh. I think we need a top three because you can't just choose one. I agree. Top three. Yeah, top three. Coming next. So I'm standing here with Lawrence Bester, former president of the Porsche Club Cape, still very much involved in everything we do. Thanks again, Lawrence, for putting everything together. Right. I know you pulled some strings, you know, last minute to get some cars here. Yeah, obviously, the weather changing last right. minute. And, I, did, uh, I did ask nicely. You did, yeah. Oh, I'm right. sure you asked very <laughs> nicely. But Lawrence, tell us the concourse. You know, obviously, you've done many of these. What's it all about for the members? Look, the concourse, for it doesn't matter, any, all the clubs in the world, there okay, are about 840 clubs in the world, it is one of the, it's deeply entrenched in heritage. It's one of the major events of any club in the world. Doesn't matter whether it's Cape Town or PE or in America, wherever, it's entrenched in, 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 in history. So it's a tradition. Okay. You must have it. You know, we have a street concourse, which you know is not too hectic. Yeah. Um, some of the people in Germany, especially in America and stuff, look, they get like 300 cars on a, yes. on a concourse. And this, the judging takes two days. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, so. Okay, well, thank goodness we're not that scale. <laughs> um, 
And then they would have they would have a different class. They'd have a street side, and then they'll have an elegance, and then they have a guitar, and oh, that wow. kind of stuff. But as a rule, the concourse is an integral part of all clubs throughout the world. You, you can't take that tradition away. You know, Sunday morning runs is, yes. is, is casual. That's yeah. done. But the fact is, um, the concourse that is a, that's one of the highlight things. So it's actually something that. I think most clubs should actually push more to get their yes. members in. You know, there's no point getting all these new members, but they're not here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look yeah. here. All the, all the older guys, I'm well, not old, I'm old. Um, yeah. But you know, the more mature guys with their cars. But today we were really fortunate. We've got some really uh, 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 um, older versions, i.e. the 996s. We've got a yes. big array of 996s. I see that's I think a big the competition class. is going to be big today, yeah. the 996. You know, you've got the GT2s, the Widowmakers. Yeah. We've got that's a very very special toy. We haven't seen one of those in our things for many many yeah, years. Yeah, the GTS a, RS, the 2004 uh, GT3 RS. They only made 1,774 in the world. Jeez, because they're super lightweight. They're worth a fortune. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got uh, that car, the GT3 Mark II from 996. It's also an 04. And we've got some. And but we've got a nice selection of cars. But if I had to put you on the spot, which is your favourite? If you had to pick. If I had to pick. Come on. That's a difficult one to I say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I must probably take that. <laughs> okay, I knew <laughs> take it. Take that. No, but cool. thanks, Lawrence. And uh, yeah, we're going to be Thank bringing you a little bit more as that judging John. goes on, and uh, we'll eventually announce the winner later on in the year. So it's great to have you here, Leon. Obviously, it's nice to have for, for, me, for me to have someone to chat to for a change <laughs> instead of chatting on my own. We're going to take a little walk through some of the cars. Yeah, yeah, see concourse. some of the cars. I mean, I was a bit worried about the weather yesterday because yeah, it wasn't looking that no. great. And the turnout has been unreal. I mean, I can't believe some of the cars. Some cars I've never seen before. A couple of my favorites. We'll highlight them oh, now. There's too many. I don't think I know, you've got a couple. Um, but even just starting right here, GD3 Touring, the, this thing ah, looks incredible. Cool. Like and you know the, the colour, the spec, and all the small. There's little hints around the back of the. I mean, you see the touring section at the back with a little badge on there. It looks amazing. But also something that you spotted the badging on the front, yes. which is quite different. Which it's I like the seen. Porsche classic style badging. So around the front. Have a look at this. Yeah, that's really nice. That's very unique. I've never seen something like that. I've never like seen that. that. That's a very unique spec. Yeah. And then obviously, the RS behind us, the green. That looks incredible. There's not many of those on the road. Um, no. And another car that pops quite nicely is this old classic here. This 356, this is the Outlaw build. So, with the Outlaw builds, obviously a little bit different to the normal classic 356s. And look at this, it even comes with this book, Leon. It shows, look, look, at, look at this vehicle. Look at where it's Full come nut from. and bolt restoration. Look at that. That's amazing. I mean, this is just... That's really amazing. The fact that it comes with a book and shows exactly what kind of work they've done. Definitely here. a highlight, one of the highlights of the show for me. And, and cars just keep arriving, which is also quite cool. It's really you cool, know? I know. We've got over 30 cars, and every time we chat, and every time There's we walk back, pulls up. more and more is pulling in. I mean, just so. at the time we'd been filming here, then the GT2 RS pulled up. Look, this is one of my favorites, because this is the track like this day car. was yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. This is Devon's car. 2007 997 turbo, yep. but it's got a titanium exhaust. You must this hear this thing. This thing sounds, sounds amazing. Like a Formula One car. I remember when it went onto track, you were there on the last uh, Porsche day. That was amazing. Driver oh, training day. This that was, was amazing. Proper. That was amazing. And then yeah, one of my all time favorites, GT2 RS in black. Oh, this Let's have a look insane. at this. We've got the President Jay, he's brought his kids down, so that's always good. It's always a family, family affair. Day. A family affair. Look at this. This is this is where the action. The wing for flying, eh? Oh, definitely low that flying. Looks amazing. The GT4. blue on this 4RS is insane. Like yeah. this color, the camera nice. camera doesn't do it justice. But the color on this car. But all the cars amazing. are immaculate. And a super underrated car. I mean, we've got the 4RS standing just behind us. Another one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah. And you don't see enough of these cars on the road. I think yeah. I don't think this car gets enough love. To be I honest. think also value for money. I mean, for what you pay for and what you get. I it's don't a think you get a better combination. It's a weapon. Yeah. It's a really great car. But let's have a look at my... Your one favorite. My, your favorite. All my favorites. All the RSs. We've got Honor, yeah. Honor is also an RS in his own personal capacity. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorites. The 4 RS. Beautiful. Absolute machine. This is Ross's car, 2022. Yeah, 2022 car, yeah. Look at this. I know Leon likes his aviation. Yeah. Danger. Danger. I really love that. 
I think for me, the overwhelming presence of carbon on this car is unmistakable. Yeah. Um, the wheels, the color combination. I know you're a silver fan. You like yeah. silver cars. Uh, it does give it a sleek look, but these wheels. But also the exposure and, of the carbon, you know, the fact that they expose these carbon bits, which is also really yeah, cool. Yeah, it really, it really shows that racy side again, another big wing, which is my favorite. And also, <laughs> anything that says RS is generally going to be my favorite. <laughs> That's Leon's your got, pick. <laughs> but we're going to go see something here that Leon got favorites. really excited about one earlier. One of my favorites. So obviously, we've got the GT2s here. A few amazing cars, but my favorite one. And yeah, simply yeah. because you never ever see this car on the road. And it's hidden away. I've got, a, I've got quite a bit of footage of this but car. But before you talk about this land, I think, oh, in. sorry. <laughs> the two GT2 RSs, Arno and Gary, two long-time members. These cars are immaculate. We're actually going to maybe take a closer look at these yeah, two cars, definitely. especially Arno's cars, because you can literally put these cars on his kitchen counter and eat off them. That's how clean they are. Yeah. <laughs> now this is this is showroom condition. This is yeah. literally came out of the factory yesterday. Yeah. Absolutely 2002 unreal. model. It's still got that new car smell. 997. Carrera oh. S, also super clean car. All the way from Amarnas, this one, eh? Really? All the way from Amarnas. He literally drove the car here this morning, cleaned it up. Amazing. Uh, looks like I'm standing in the garage. GT3 RS. Your favorite, your favorite. Your favorite. Another big rear wing, another carbon fiber rear wing. It's definitely a theme going here with and, your cars. And look at this. Clearly, this is a lady driver, and I'm not being feminist. Tanya. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. She started this car earlier. This thing sounds insane. Straight pipes out the back. I love crazy, it. Crazy I love car. it. Oh, now we, we get to Marco. We get to Marco. Finally. <laughs> Slant nose, pop up lights, 925. This thing is an 80s machine. I mean, just look at this. And thing. this always, this, this BBS wheel, this Hockenheim spec looking rim. Oh, it's just awesome. Do you know that this car has over 500 horsepower? Unreal. Yeah. And there's I quite think... a story behind this car, which Lawrence was telling me earlier on. Yeah. But I mean, roll cage, I mean, lightweight. Look at this GT rear wing. Absolutely insane. What I like about it, I can see this car is being used. Yes. So, I mean, classics need to be appreciated. And there's a few amazing cars here. There's another car on that side that got fully restored. We'll get to that one now. But for me, this 935, man. Yeah. Slant nose, the setup, this is insane. This is, yeah. and I like this because and pop -up lights. you don't see them on the road. No. You hardly ever see these. I mean, in Europe and, and America, these are becoming like a big collective yeah. cars. So, Leon, we're standing here with this black beauty. We almost here. forgot about this car. I know, we almost did. And 356. Really this is an amazing car. It's special, eh? I mean, look at this car. 1962. Long time um, before I was real. born. No, this car looks really, really good. But the detail. I spoke to the guys, it came from the archive. Um, they've been spending the last two weeks detailing this car to get it to this standard. This is proper concourse condition. 130 brake horsepower <laughs> for 1962, not bad. Well, the car probably weighs like under a ton, doesn't it? Look at the interior of this thing. Oh, unreal. Look at the original Switch clock. Here, steering wheel, the gauges. So this is a full unreal. restoration. Complete restoration from the ground up. Look um, at that, CL917 number plate. Porsche S. Absolutely amazing car. Immaculate. Even the grill work, everything is just really meticulously done. Now, this is a, a really nice car. Um, predictions, I mean, this is definitely going to hit the top three, in my opinion. No, for sure. And you know what's nice about concourse is you see a lot of cars you wouldn't normally see on breakfast runs or driver training days. Mm. And I mean, how nice that we can get so up and close with and these vehicles. we got vehicles. two of them here today. I know. Special. How incredible right? is that? Such and also, special. you can see the youngsters that are aspiring to have Porsches, for them to see stuff like this. Yeah. You know, nowadays nice. with everything going exactly. electric and exactly. modern. I mean, there's no electronics on these exactly. type of cars. I mean, I think that clock you turn manually by yourself to set the time. <laughs> so it's really cool to see these types of cars. And, uh, and everyone's out here. Families out, photographers. And that's what I like about the Porsche Club concourse days like yeah. this. Everybody comes, everyone supports. Yeah, so if you're really sitting nice. on your couch, you're missing out. You need to come you to need these. To get you. you need to be here. Uh, you need to touch. Well, not touch. The guys are going to be on <laughs> But you can get really close without touching to these type of cars. So Pierre, we're sitting here in the, another beautiful day here in Cape Town. Thanks again to Expel for sponsoring the Porsche Club Cape Concourse event. Tell us, how's it gone so far? And I mean, the planning, obviously the weather and all the normal things that we get thrown at us, but somehow we managed to make it work. Yeah, you know, I was so worried about the weather this week. I thought it was going to rain, and until about Wednesday, I was like, ah, oh, looks like a bit of sunlight coming through. But and what we a day! Members say, hang oh. in there, don't bail on us. You can do it. And I mean, look at the turnout. We got over 30 cars. Yeah, and members came to me and said, you thank, thanks for sending those <laughs> reminders out and pushing, pushing the envelope because they were, we were like on the fence with it. Yeah. And what a lucky day! And you know, the nice thing for me, I always say, you know, 
as the Porsche Club Cape, we're trying to inspire youngsters to come down and, and see these cars, to one day own one of these cars, like we did, you know, as youngsters. So, I mean, that's great. We're seeing a lot of the families out here. Century City Hotel, they've managed to put together a beautiful buffet breakfast here for the, for the members. Um, you can literally sit just to the right of us here, overlook all these beautiful cars. We even heard one of the members saying, honey, you can go shop while I go look at all the Porsche cars. So, you know, there's something for everybody here, and I really am enjoying this venue. Um, it's, someone said to us also, it's not too far to drive, because obviously they want the cars not to get dirty. So Century City is very central. Um, and I mean, this venue is spectacular. So thanks again to Gary and uh, the Century City Hotel team for looking after us. Yeah, we had uh, Chris come all the way from uh, Claymont today, and he was a bit worried about, you know, the weather yesterday. I said, no, no, it's going to be good, because there was a big storm inside. Yeah. And the, and the rain was coming through. Half so. the roads have got washed away yeah, with all the storms. Yeah. But tell us, Pierre, I mean, you, we've seen some different cars here to what we see in the driver training and our breakfast runs, which is also yeah. great. More classic cars here, some absolutely beautiful, stunning, well-looked-after cars, and different to what we normally see on our runs. So that is, that is, and I, th I think a lot of people just come up for this. They just bring yeah. their cars to this event. So there's a lot of cars that you will not see on a normal everyday. A lot of guys just keep them for this event, and that's some really, really beautiful cars here today. And I mean the conditions of these cars, every single one of them look like they've just rolled off the showroom floor and some of them are older than I am yeah. and uh, that's quite something. So uh, again, great event, great to see the members out and also what I like is we've seen a lot of members that haven't entered their cars at least showing their face Absolutely. and making an effort to come out. That's been one of, the, one of the better things for the day. We've got a lot of members just came out to say hi and came to see all the cars and, and came in for a coffee and for a little bit of breakfast and that was good for me. Good to have the members coming out and spending the day with each other. Yep. And if you want to know a little bit more about x and Motel, at the bottom here, we'll put a little link in. Leon will do his magic where you can click, <laughs> click, and you can learn all about what they do. And also, if you don't want to miss out on all the action, I say this a lot as one of my best closing lines is, like and subscribe and stay locked on, as Leon always tells me, to Porsche Club Cape, so you don't miss out on any other action. We've got a lot more coming towards the end of the year. A year in function, which is always Pierre's favorite. Um, as toy he, drive. The toy drive, which is also great. So, um, lots still to come, and uh, yeah, so, if you don't want to miss out, you know where you need to be watching to catch all the action. So we've come to an end of amazing Concourse Porsche Club Cape event. Yeah. And uh, Leon, we've had to choose Top three. now. Yes, it's been hard, eh? It's been hard. There's been some really... What, what I like is there's been a couple of rare cars here. Yeah. So it makes choices a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Um, we've got the factory stock cars which pretty much uh, is exactly that, it's a factory yeah. stock car. And there's a few moderate examples, so there's been a nice variety of cars around to make the choices. Okay, so, <laughs> so you go first. Okay, uh, no specific order. Um, oh. Personally for me, um, the, the Outlaw. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, the old and Outlaw for me was, was just like, it ticks the boxes in terms of authenticity. Um, I can't, uh, it's kind of like tied into position for me, <laughs> the two, three, five, sixes, because one's a proper restoration, yeah. one's a, a different definition. So it's I think timeless, outlaw, timeless classics, outlaw you know? number yeah. one for me. Um, number two, the flat nose behind me. Um, oh. it's, it's, it's not, it's not in the best condition in terms of the cars, but it's just a favorite yes. for me. Yeah. So I think this is more my, my top favorite cars, you know. Oh. And then I think uh, I, I know you like these colors. But the GT2 Solver. Yeah, that's a, that's I, a, you know, it's a tough choice. I've walked around the whole morning. It's almost lunchtime, and I still can't make a choice. To be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the, obviously the GT2 RS yeah. in black. I'm the, expecting an all RS lineup here. Yeah. The GT4 RS, Ross's car, oh, is definitely one amazing. of my favourite too. I mean, mid-engine. I mean, these are. Oh, just amazing cars. And it's, and it's rare on the roads currently in South Africa. There's yeah. not many I think there's around. two of the GT4 RSs, maybe three. Maybe three. So yeah. uh, definitely those are the two. Uh, the 996 GT3 RS oh. is also, you know, anything Soft that's got... Soft in your heart, because I mean, that's my yeah. personal no, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Anything that's got scaffolding or roll cage in <laughs> is, is definitely one of my favourites. Uh, I think the, the two GT2 um, cars is also one of my favourites. The older ones, the 996s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Beautiful specimens. I mean, Arno's and Gary's cars, those are definitely two of my... And they're right next to each other. I know. Right, I mean, yeah. that's also something you don't see. You don't see no, these type of no, cars. No, no. So, yeah, um, 
And I can go on and on, as you can see. <laughs> but that's it. But that's me. it. That's me. it. I've we're chosen done. those. We're done. We're done. Um, but yeah, great to see these cars out and about. And some, like I say, some of these cars don't see the sun a lot. A lot nice. of them are kept away. But one thing, most of the Porsche members, I must give them that, that they do drive these cars. They do take them out and enjoy them. So, yeah, Leon, we're going to have to have more of our pick more of the chats. day. More chats. I like this. Um, nice to have you this side we got, of the we got, camera. We've got, we got the red around. Thanks for uh, letting me come sit with you. <laughs> yeah. I know it's been a busy one. I'm usually all running around at the camera, so we're going to try and toggle this. And uh, might, might be a new feature moving forward for the club. No, definitely, and I think Pierre will be chuffed because you behaved yourself, so he'll allow you this side of the camera for a bit. I was but, well uh, behaved now for the last few months. No, exactly. So thanks to everybody who's come out and made an effort, and uh, we hope to see you all soon.